in this lecture let us discuss about minimax algorithm which is a backtracking algorithm that is used in decision making and it can even be used in game theory in order to find the optimal move for a player assuming that your opponent also plays optimally and uh, you can use this algorithm in uh, two player turn based games like uh, tic tac toe or chess etc so in minimax uh, the two players are called as maximizer and minimizer so here the maximizer tries to get the highest score possible while the minimizer tries to do the opposite that means to get the lowest score possible so these are few assumptions about the game in order to do so the game must be turn based in order to properly generate a game tree and opponent must be attempting to play optimally algorithm also it becomes less effective if the opponent is not playing by a strategy and this game is purely strategic so it does not uh, depend on factors like either luck or secret information let us solve this example using minimax algorithm it contains max node and min node so you can see here in minimax algorithm we use the dfs algorithm to search the paths we'll search the left so pre first until we reach the leaf node so move towards left side first until we reach the leaf node so h is a leaf node which is having value 19 now this value 19 will be sent back to parent node which is a max node and after that move towards right side of this parent node that is d now here i is having value 22 so that 22 will be sent back to d so as this is a max node it will find out the maximum of these two values 19 and 22 as 22 is, is uh, larger than 19 so this value is removed and 22 will be placed here right and after that this 22 will be sent back to its parent node so parent node is b so this left uh, sub left part is over now so now move towards right part of this b here again left side so left child is j which is having value 12 so 12 is sent back to e and after that traverse towards right side of e so here we are having k which is having value 8 so that value 8 is sent back to e as it consider maximum value maximum amount 12 and 8 is 12 so this 12 is retained at this place now here among this 12 and 22 this uh, min note it considers minimum value so among 12 and 22 minimum value is 12 so remove 22 and place 12 at node b now this 12 will be sent back to its parent so who is parent of b that is a so 12 will be sent back to its parent a so left part of this uh, root node is over now so traverse towards right side again same process move towards left side first here we have 25 25 is sent back to parent f and after that move towards right side of this node f which is minus 8 so send send minus 8 back to parent among 25 and minus 8 maximum value is 25 this 25 will be retained at this point now move this uh, send this 25 back to parent of f so parent of f is c so 25 is sent to c here now left part of the C is over. So traverse towards right side of C. Start with the left part of G. That is 13. So 13 is sent back to G. And traverse towards right side. Right side we have 23. Now 23 is sent back to G. Now among 13 and 23 maximum value is 23. So remove 13 in place 23. Now, 
so we traverse towards left side and right side of this node c so among 25 and 23 which is a minimum value minimum value is 23 right so among these two 23 is a minimum so that value is replaced with 25 now we here the algorithm traverses to le through left and right part of pa so again this 23 is sent back to parent node a among this 12 and 23 which is a maximum value maximum value is 23 so that value will be replaced at the root node so now root node contains 23 here parent equal to 23 it is a final value for this two player game 3 path with 23 is the optimal path this root node has to follow in order to win the game so what is the path with value 23 so this is the path right so this path should be selected by this root node in order to win the game 